Are you seeking massive gains? Well, today I bring knowledge to the uneducated, frail masses. Into the debug mode I go to test things out and give you answers. First, we'll start with strength training. The easiest and passive way to get massive gains is walking while over 50% encumbered. It builds up pretty fast for passive gains. Not to mention most of us are constantly near maximum encumbrance, so it'll always be taken away in the background. Exercise gives good gains. There's a multitude of choices once you get a barbell or dumbbell. Push-ups are one of the fastest exercises, so even at 6 basic speed per, they add up quickly. Attacking zombies gives gains as well. I've also heard of tree hitting strats for power leveling strength, however I didn't test those as I think they will eventually be removed. You heard me say basic speed earlier. Is there a way to multiply strength gains? Yes, and it's appropriately thematic as well. Eating enough protein gives an experience bonus. It seems to begin at 60 protein before exercising on a fresh character. Looking at the wiki, you can go into negative protein, so be aware that stashing away 60 protein worth of canned food for exercise day may not be enough. Since there's no way to check your nutrition levels without mods, it might be best practice to eat some protein every day. The passive walking experience being multiplied will likely give you gains way more than any exercising you do. Exercise has its costs in making you tired and fatigued, so avoiding it is a plus. The nutritionist skill lets you see the stats of every food in the game. You don't need nutritionists, although it'll definitely help with the planning until you get used to the general protein values of certain foods. Worst comes to worst, you can wiki foods for their values. A quick browse showed me that most of the trapping and foraging food items have the best protein ratios, with peanut butter coming in a potential first place when viewed with weight considerations and the fact that it doesn't go rotten. Finally, we get back to the thing that started my investigation. Too many zombies to smash with your massive arms, it's time for cardio. Never skip leg day. This table from the wiki shows the advantages of raising your fitness level. I imagine most people would want a higher fitness stat after seeing those. So let's get into ways to acquire those thick thighs. Sadly, running and sprinting are not a good way to raise the stat. It goes up inconsistently and only one experience point at a time. It may also be weight based similar to strength, but seeing as you can run your entire endurance bar without getting a single experience point, I was not enthusiastic about testing it. Anyway, since you are unlikely to acquire gains via running, it's not worth bothering to optimize your encumbrance. There is the claim on the wiki that attacking while not over encumbered raises the stat as well. However, in my play I'm normally close to if not slightly over encumbered, so this would play a small role in those leg day gains. Maybe I need to change up my play style for those low fitness characters. Exercising is the only answer for the inconsistent passive experience gain. You get two choices depending on whether you want your legs or core to be tired later in the day. Unlike strength training, it seems eating protein does not give a bonus, so it'll be a slower stat to increase. Lastly, I want to cover exercise in general since it's a major way to train both stats. Each exercise gives different amounts of experience to the stats at different speeds. Burpees give fitness and strength experience. You'll need to weigh whether you want maximum gains or to tactically exercise different body parts in a rotation so that you do not have to deal with near permanent pain and fatigue in your legs or arms. It does make you tired too, so getting stuck in a loop of being tired but in too much pain to sleep is a real possibility. What's this regularity bar you ask? For my testing, it does not give a bonus to experience gains, but it does appear to reduce the amount of fatigue. I wouldn't worry about maxing it out. If you consistently exercise, it'll just happen anyways. For example, by the time I hit 100% regularity for push-ups during my testing, I had only gained around 9,000 of the 30,000 experience needed for level 6 strength. Mind, I was just constantly doing push-ups in debug mode. In normal gameplay, you would be gaining most of your strength passively by walking around while over 50% weight. Hopefully this helps out those seeking massive gains. If you'd like to help my gains, click the like and subscribe button. You can also watch me cultivate mass on Twitch.